everyone, I'm Praise Oppo from Opex Market Company and today I will be teaching you all how to make herbal oil infusion. Today we're going to learn about a little bit of oil and how you can infuse your herbs into your oils and I will explain different type of oils that you can use to infuse your herbs. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, I am Praise Oppo from Opex Market Company. And today's topic will be oil infusion. Right here I have different type of oil infusion. Uh, to my right. It's right here I have lavender with safflower oil and a little bit of or tangy of grapeseed oil. Right here I also have rosemary, safflower oil and a little tangy bit of grapeseed oil. And right here I have cinnamon sticks with safflower oil and a little bit of olive and a little bit of grapeseed oil. Right here I have peppermint. Um, it's infused in safflower oil, a little bit of grapeseed and one teaspoon of olive oil. And the reason why I did just one teaspoon of olive oil in this and this is because I wanted to really get a scent of the cinnamon, but I also wanted some properties of the olive oil in the infusion. Now, oil infusion is used in many ways. All right, it is used to add flavor to food, vegetables, meat. Um, it's great basis for salads. For sauces, marinades, and skincare and healthcare, which is the most important. Of course, everything is very important. Um, for people that want to know about skincare, this is very good. It helps with your skin and your hair as well. Um, it also helps um, in different ways for your nails, okay? Your nails. Now, the process of this in the jars. The cinnamon, the um, rosemary, lavender, and peppermint are all cold processes. All of these four are cold process oil. We have two types of infusion: the hard process method and the cross and the cold process method. The cold process method is mostly when you just pour oil in a jar and then you put whatever herb you're trying to infuse in the oils. I'm gonna teach you all how to make oil infusion today. I'm gonna teach you how to make it so you can see how it's done for a lot of people who doesn't know how to make oil infusion with herbs or fruits yeah people do use fruits but it has to be dried fruit or grounded dried fruits it has to be very dry with no water in it but right here i'm using flour which is lavender buds okay and i'm using plants and herbs herbs are plants plants are herbs um rosemary cinnamon sticks very healthy and peppermint this is actually dry peppermint and it's also grounded peppermint so let's talk about the hard process method the hard process method involves um, a method where you can just put a pot on the stove you put your oil in the pot and you put your flour or your herbs or whatever plant you're trying to use you put that in of course the pot most of the time you have to reduce the temperature of your oil. You don't want it to be too hot. You just want it to be either on very low temperature. A lot of people can infuse their oils for uh, hours. Some people do it for 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, um, 24 hours a whole day just to get that done. But uh, personally, I recommend using cold processed oil because you get all the infusion and you don't rush the temperature not just of the oil because you have to understand that your oil that's warmed up okay the more heat that gets into your oil the less um nutrients you get out of that oil so cold process oil keeps all the nutrients in your oil it doesn't take any nutrients out of the oil hard process is also good as well do not get me wrong it's very good i just rather prefer cold process because it's going to be 100% nutrients that's in the oil and the herbs or the plants or flowers or whatever it is that you're trying to infuse. And it's also going to be 100% um, of all nutrients in that infusion. But for hard process, 
okay it's going to reduce the nutrients of the herbs or the nutrients of the oil which means that um, instead of getting all 100 percent you get about 75 to 80 percent let's just say 85 top okay that is why i recommended cold process because you don't lose any type of nutrients out of the oils and your plants but they are both great ways to infuse your oils and your herbs i'm going to show you how i infuse this today it's really pretty this is cinnamon it's one of my favorite i love cinnamon a lot and i have this for about four months now maybe three four months now cinnamon is very good for you um, i also have rosemary rosemary is good for your hair skin people drink rosemary tea it's very healthy it helps your scalp dandruffs and all um, and right here i have lavender this is lavender buds and i have them there it's very pretty people just infuse them sometimes and then they put them on the shelf they're very very pretty so beautiful right right it's beautiful and it's very healthy it helps with acne and bacteria it's antibacteria anti-inflammatory and anti-microbial it's very, very healthy and right here i have peppermint if you love peppermint it smells so good um the reason why i use sunflower oil in these infusions is because sunflower oil is odorless okay that means it doesn't smell it doesn't have a smell and if it does have a smell it's very very hard to detect so it's not something that you smell right away it's very odorless it doesn't really have a smell so whatever you infuse into your oil you can extract all that scents you can get to smell it all but if you use something like olive oil you have to be very careful because olive oil has a very strong smell and it's very strong so if you put your flour or your herbs into your oil it's not gonna smell as it's gonna smell of course but it's not gonna smell as great as just using something that's neutral or something that has no type of smell at all i love peppermint and this actually hmm smells so good now let's go right here oil infusion now we have three different type of oil I'm going to explain a lot of things right now this is safflower oil and it has a shelf life of three years for those who want to read it, it has a shelf life of three years and it really um, after you open it for a year the shelf life actually reduces to about a year after you open it which is about 12 months but really the shelf life of safflower seed is 24 months you can see it's a very clear oil and it's very neutral it's very clean, very neutral. It's very close to canola oil. But canola oil will probably look a little bit between safflower seed oil or grape seed oil. But it's very clear. It's a very neutral oil. It doesn't really have a lot of smell, a lot of stain. It's odorless. You see, it's very light odor. It's good for cooking, medicine, and career oils. You can add essential oils to this and infuse them. This is why I've actually used them for my oil infusion, like the one I showed you here. The lavender which is really pretty now let's move to grapeseed oil grapeseed oil has a shelf life of about six months but after it's opened okay yeah um its shelf life reduced to about three months uh a lot of people just like to infuse this and just put it on their pantry if you just put it in your pantry and you open it it probably will last for about four to five months if it's in your fridge it probably lasts even longer but you don't want to put your oil in the fridge then it's gonna get called vapor and water um and it has it helps with vitamin c and vitamin e it's a great antioxidant it helps to soften your skin and it's effective at aging it's very effective for your skin to moisturize a lot of different things this is grapeseed oil looks similar but not exactly this is lighter and this is not as light as that now, one of the most famous type of oil, which is one of my favorite favorites, except it has a very strong smell, is olive oil. We all are all about um, Cleopatra and all of that, but not necessarily, you know, all the stories. But olive oil has a shelf life of about a year or two years, okay? After you open it, it reduced to about um, 18 months, but it has a very long shelf life. It's a current oil that you can have 
and mix up for your essential oils, your flowers and herbs. It has antioxidants, um, monosaturated fats and oils. It's anti-inflammatory and it has properties to hydrate and keep your skin from drying. This is olive oil. Very healthy and very good. Now let's talk about let's talk about herbs. This is sage, right? This is sage, right here. Sage is very good for your skin. It's very 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 good, especially sage essential oil. Sage is good for moisturizing, conditioning, um, not just your hair but your skin as well. It's very soothing. It's not irritating. It actually helps your irritation. See, it prevents dandruff. It cleans your scalp. It removes greasiness and excessive oil and it helps you bring cousin um hackney just make sure that whatever oil you use the best oil to actually use which i don't have right here is a hobo oil and safflower oil because they are not um cogenetic which means they don't have a lot of too much fat that we helps to have give you hackney but this is sage and we are going to infuse sage and now let's move to lavender okay lavender is one of my favorites um, lavender oil it's also good for your skin as well. We all know it's antibacteria, it's antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and it's very good for acne. Um, it helps kill dandruff and bacteria as well. It's very good for your skin. It helps lessen acne, um, lighten your skin, reduce wrinkles, improve your hair health, and it also have a very common effect. So this is lavender, which is it's very pretty. So let's start with infusion. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is pour your oil into your glass or whatever you're trying to use. But I recommend using a yogurt jar or a lid glass jar like this one right here or something smaller or bigger depending on whatever size you want. But just use a glass jar with a lid on it. And you want to also label your um, infusion because it's going to help you to recommend and write down the dates, write down the name and the properties. If you want to use this for sale, it's very useful to label everything that you do just to keep tracks of everything that you are going to be doing with your oils. So what I have done is actually added a little bit of essential, I kind of made a spill there. A little bit of safflower oil, olive oil, and grapeseed oil. Safflower oil, olive oil, and grapeseed oil. So I'm going to go ahead and just try with this sage. Okay, you can use tablespoon on teaspoon or whatever works for you but it doesn't matter you just add that onto it okay some people like to put the herbs in the jar before they add the oils to it it doesn't matter because either way you have to end it up you know shaking it up together now for lavender you just do the same thing you can put um you can use um spoon if you have to whatever works for you my hands are clean Loving touching all these herbs, 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 and oils. You put as much herbs as you want. I don't measure my herbs. I love them. Okay. Now you want to put the lid on it. I have these cute little leads. This is actually a cold process. And you want to go ahead and put a lid on it. Like that. What you want to do is just shake it up. See? Shake it up. Beautiful, right? You shake it up. Shake it up like that. And there you have the cold process infusion. You want to set this at your window or where you can get a lot of sunlight just because um, the heat from the sun helps it, okay, to um, put all the nutrients from the flowers or the herbs or whatever it is or flowers that you put into your oil, you want the heat to. Um, infuse all the nutrients into oil. You don't want to put it where it's very hot. You just want to put it where it's very warm. Behind your window, outside if it's safe, or your pantry, somewhere that is just warm enough. And when I mean warm, I mean about maybe 70 degrees to like 82, 83 degrees. Not something that is cool, but something that is just warm. That way you can just, you know, get all the nutrients out from your herbs. You can add more if you have to. You can add more oils, you can add more herbs. Now the hard process, I already went through. You put your, um, you know, oil on the stove, put your herbs or whatever you want to put in it, put it on low. 
you can put it for like hours some people do 24 hours some people have an incubator for um oil infusion but this is the cold process and now you know about the hard process as well i am pleased to offer from a pex mark i mean from pex market company i hope this has helped you to understand oil infusion and how to do it thank you for watching this video come back again